Illusor Island is a beautiful island. Things people do will keep you smiling. We are. We're in the woods. We're hiking. I have no idea where we're going. One person at a time on these stairs dead. No other island. You ready to jump off again? <laughs> this is what island life was all about right here. This is island travel. This is island life. This is Hatchet Bay. This is Hatchet Bay. No other island will keep you smiling, Belutra. Welcome aboard Encore. We are off on a wild adventure to see and explore together, one anchorage, dive, and hike at a time, with the goal of living each and every day to its fullest. I'm Natalie, that's TJ, our pup Camo, and my dad and captain Mike. We spent last season on the East Coast and now it's time to head south. Make sure to join us as we cruise through the Caribbean on an adventure of a lifetime. Today we are leaving Norman Kay and crossing the Exuma Sound to Eleuthera Island. Eleuthera is 110 miles long and is one of the Bahamas' out islands. For our first stop, we are heading to the southern end of the island to Rock Sound. Here we go to the ocean. Here we go. Let's go, hang on. There's some waves. <laughs> we're going through the cut. Oh yeah. Well, for sure. Everything's closed. Well, things always won't break. I'll go downstairs. <laughs> oh my gosh. We just had one come through the door. We're going into Eleuthera. Got the whole crew. The southern tip. I'm not expecting rain, but I am expecting a wet ride. <laughs> Always a wet ride. So we're in Rock Sound, Eleuthera, and we're walking around the town. Gonna go explore some blue holes, and Mike and Natalie are in a shop, but look at that water. It's insane, it's just electric. And yeah, there's a grocery store here, some other goodies, and just hang out and see what we can find. Wanna go swim? Okay, let's go. soak in the ocean. Yeah? Nice little beach day. There's some fishies around you. <laughs> we're in the woods. We're hiking. I guess we're going to the back side of this spider cave. Maybe? Something? I have no idea where we're going. Hiking! you find something? Yeah. What is it? Big yeah? Oh. oh yeah. Wow, yeah, that's a lot of spider webs, isn't it? <laughs> Holy shit, this is cool. Wow. Spider webs everywhere. Spider cave, what's Check this, this do? This One person at a time on these stairs dead. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh. Isn't that cool? Those are bats. Do you see them? Yeah. Wow. All those bats flying around. I don't think I've ever seen so many bats flying around. Wow. We have bats everywhere. 
Hopefully they maintain the six foot distance requirement. <laughs> Everywhere you look, there's bats. Hey, that's crazy. Look at this. I'm three minutes. That's that is so cool. I've never seen a roof come through like that. Yeah. That's wild. Run straight through the rock. The roots. This one's trying to make it. That is so oh, cool. No, yeah. You got all the bats going. Hi, little bat friends. There's so many of them. Oh, don't break. It was a good little find. Yeah, this was an amazing find. Nicely done, TJ. This was really, really cool. We are walking on the highway back over to the ocean hole now. We walked about a mile over to the caves, which were so cool. Very good find by TJ. And now we are just strolling on the highway over to the ocean hole, it's called. We're gonna head over there. Hope we go for a little swim to cool down because it is toasty outside. It's like 80 and sunny. Hopefully we'll go for a little swim in there and then get some groceries and they is off to a very nice start. Oh, that's so cute. Wow, those are pretty. I think just straight. A little uh, painting place. Got some balloons here. Too bad that my birthday's not for another few weeks. It's a very cute house. It's another very cute house. Oh, nice. Nice little trail jacket. Can we go first? I know that's just gonna bother you until you do. So the blue holes is ocean water that connects down, that connects to the ocean through limestone through the bedrock. So the limestone gets kind of bored out and there are pockets of water that come up through it and that's how you get these blue hole, ocean holes. There's a bunch of them in Eleuthera. So we are trying to see a bunch while we are here. We have made it over to the pretty side of the ocean hole, the little entrance. Look at how fun that is. Okay, here we go. Now we have found the proper entrance. I think we came in the uh, the back way before. But here it is. It's quite huge. And TJ and Camo are planning on jumping off from right over there. There he goes. Three, two. One, go! <laughs> yeah, Camo! It's so warm. Is it? There's a whole bunch of fish in here, too. That was your first cliff jump, Camo. That was your first cliff jump. I can't believe you jumped. Oh my gosh. Yeah, boy! <laughs> So it feels so good. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's content. He doesn't want to come out. Go swim, swim. Yeah. <laughs> Go, TJ. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You ready to jump off again? <laughs> <laughs> look, at cool, look at the wake behind him.
<laughs> swimming in the ocean hole. Or in the ocean hole, on, we're swimming in the ocean surrounded by land. <laughs> Super deep. Yeah, it's scary. I can't see the bottom. I think it's like 45 or 60 feet. It is really nice. I know. It's so refreshing. It's a hot day. It's perfect. He's circling you. <laughs> Stop it. Don't land it. He's going to bite. <laughs> it's like a shark. It's circle. How was it? Perfect. It was so refreshing. Nice. So nice. I'm salty now, but I'm not hot anymore. <laughs> well, that was very fun. Yeah. Got to go swimming in an ocean hole. Never have I done that before. Lots of first nice blue ocean hole. It was awesome. Yeah, it was really fun. And now we're going to go get some groceries from the store, which we could really use. We are all out of fresh vegetables and fruit, so this is going to be a wonderful, wonderful stop. Well, we got our groceries and our bags in my backpack. Definitely going to have to go back in tomorrow because we couldn't carry a ton of food. And we got our cart. We're gonna go get some groceries. Get all of our reusable bags. There's a great grocery store here, so we figured we're not gonna Stock have up. too many of them. Yeah, there's not a ton of <laughs> great grocery stores in the Bahamas. So, while we are over here in Rock Sound in Eleuthera, we are going to stock up for the next two weeks. Actually, we might go to Spanish Wells too, which has another one, but we're not positive on that. So, we destroy veggies. We do, yeah, I got like six peppers yesterday. We ate every single pepper. And we had, I think I had four oranges yesterday and a lot of pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we need to get some more stuff. Um, but it's, it's not all easy living, the dream living in the Bahamas. You can just... Yes, it is. Well, I mean, just to mean like you can go to a grocery store back at home and just drive in your car and show up there. We have to take a dinghy two miles from our boat and then walk half a mile with our cart and our bags to the grocery store. So island life has its, and boat life has its hardships as well. It's true. Yeah, it is. It really makes you appreciate getting into your car and going having all of your options at the grocery store. And not having to dress in a swimsuit. <laughs> That's our, our little routine for getting groceries over here. And just gonna show you some of these prices like these non-organic, just regular orange peppers are almost $8 a pound for the yellow. What else we have going on here? Zucchini is $4 a pound. 61 bucks for a bag of cereal. That's <laughs> Getting some of our lettuce. We can get two bags. A bag of romaine lettuce. $9. Expensive stuff. Yes, it is. Makes Whole Foods look like a bargain. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. But this is an amazing grocery store. I mean, this is crazy. They have Chobani and fake eggs and vegan cream cheese, and they have all the good stuff. Oh, there's your hummus. hummus. They even have our almond milk for a small price, $10. <laughs> we will definitely be getting a few of those. <laughs> Hopefully the rain does not start while we're walking back. But 550 bucks later, we got our groceries. Now we just have to go the uh, half a mile back to the dinghy. Walk the highway. Walk the highway. I know we're, we're walking on a highway to get back to the dinghy. And then from there it is two miles back to the big boat. This is the most beautiful grocery run I've ever done.
done. Yeah, this is quite gorgeous. There's a crystal blue water all around us. A little bit more, uh, the stakes are high. Definitely don't want to drop anything into the water after getting groceries. That'd be quite sad. I just gotta load it into the dinghy and bring it over to the boat that's way out yonder. I don't even see it from right here. Who the heck's our boat? And just like that, it's time to leave Rock Sound. We were very apprehensive when we first arrived in Rock Sound, but it ended up being an incredible and very necessary stop. We were even able to stop by in a live store to pick up a Bahamian router. If you are cruising in the Bahamas and want internet, go get one, trust us. We got to swim in an ocean hole, explore huge caves, and get groceries. After a short cruise, we've arrived in Alabaster Bay, where we will stay for a few days to explore some more amazing spots. So we have left Encore, took the small dinghy over to land, and we are attempting to get to a pink sand beach today. It's only one mile away. It's actually half a mile away. Half it's even mile. closer, but there's, there's, no, no, road, there's right? no direct road or path. So we might be bushwhacking. That's why you have your safari hat on, right? That's why I have my safari hat, and I wish I would have brought the uh, machete I've now. Got one. Oh. <laughs> oh, you had your machete? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna, we have our umbrella and all of our snacks and all that, and we're gonna go. You can't get the dog out of the water. I know, look at him. The dog just... So, <laughs> so we're walking along the beach over here. Beach the dinghy, walking along the beach here. and the trails. Yeah, this is our trail. So we will see, hopefully, we can get some pink sand. Onward voyage. Yeah, I think mean, this is like the uh -huh. So we are on the first part of the path. The path exists. This is a very good first step. We're going to go across a, a main road and then hope that path part two is there as well. Not big. big. How big is it? Not big, but he's there. Oh, yeah. You see him? Yeah, I do. Okay, a little limbo. We're on the road. Yeah, this is where the trail shows as a road. Very large gate with a lock on it. Yeah, but green means go. Green means go. <laughs> and it doesn't say do not go. So we're gonna give it a go. Hey, at least there's a path here. This is like really exciting. Yeah, we were looking at an old like army outpost. That looks pretty new. So how are we feeling about our, our Anchorage and our little walk today? So far, this is going great. No machetes are needed. No we machetes. Nice to follow. I think we can see the ocean. Holy heck, this is turning out great. The pink sands are almost, almost within reach. Trail's getting a little bit thicker. It's still kind of a trail, if you believe and think hard enough. Holy heck, that's huge. That's the biggest one I think I've ever seen. That's not an aloe plant, is it? No, I think it might be agave or something. Wow, oh my goodness. We're there, we are almost there. <laughs> that was quick and easy. Oh my God, the, the sand does look pink. It has a little bit of a pink hue to it. Camel's gotten too many prickers in his feet. Going for a little ride down. Good luck to TJ. <laughs> we made it! So exciting. So we got a 
brand new beach umbrella. Seems to be working very nicely. I would say our stand quest was a success. Yes, it was. We got our pink sand. It's crazy. It's actually gorgeous. Sand Beach. It's a very fun beach day. Oh, baby boy's being so careful. Yeah, you're being a good boy. He doesn't want to step on any more thorns. Hey, you're being very good. That's a good place to walk right there. Okay, oh, yeah. <laughs> the dog has given up on walking. He's gotten too many thorns in his feet. He's scared to walk over here. So he kind of just stopped and said, TJ, carry me. He looks <laughs> very happy now. Are you oh, he's smiling. <laughs> Look at that little swoosh face. Yeah, that's a happy camo. <laughs> yeah, the walk is so easy. You literally go on there for 10 minutes over here a walk on our other little path for like three and then we're in alabaster bay and just like that we're back at the water you thought i was going to bring you through the middle of the jungle didn't you i did, <laughs> I really did. After hanging out on the pink beaches all day, we're making a beach fire now. Yeah, so we'll get Kim is over there. Mike's on his log. I'm watching great progress being made here. <laughs> what a lovely evening. Yeah, it's perfect. coming to an end how you doing i'm doing great wonderful we have a lovely setting here for our fire i know i love the sandbars out here where are we heading to tomorrow uh we're heading more north to what is that area called it's right by the, the queen's bath and right by um the glass window bridge calding bay calding bay Aaron hung out there for a few days and then head up to spanish wells I couldn't find my graham crackers on the boat, so luckily my dad made pancakes this morning. I was able to steal one of those for a little s'more. Got the fire going a little bit stronger. Look at that. Day going. It's time to move. Go for a boat ride. Time to cuddle with me, my dog. Oh, there's so we're leaving.
leaving Alabaster Bay and we're heading over to Glass Window Bridge. It's about a three hour run. Natalie's picking up the anchor right now. And we're off. To Glass Window Bridge we go. So here is our anchoring process. After we pick our location, we drop the anchor down and slowly back up as we lower the anchor to the bottom. You don't want the anchor chain to wrap around the anchor, so continuing to back up will ensure that it falls out in a straight line. Once all the chain is out that we need for our depth, we put the boat in reverse and back down on the anchor to set it into the sand. We typically back down at around 1300 RPM, and I put my foot on the anchor chain to feel for how tight the anchor chain is. If it's tight, we are dug in. If it feels like it's skipping or loose, it's probably dragging. Then it's time for the bridle. This is what holds the tension of the anchor and chain. Now there are many ways you hook up your bridle, but we have found this to be the easiest for us. I climb up on the bowl poppet and attach the clasp on the soft shackle to the anchor chain. Then once that's attached, we pull the lines through the hawse holes and tighten and cleat them off. After that, we let down more chain until all the tension is on the bridle. Loosen the windlass to relieve tension, close the door to the anchor locker, and you are done. So we have arrived at Hatchet Bay. We were actually on our way to, um, what was it? Galding K. Galding K this morning. And I posted on a Facebook group that we were in the in Eleuthera and any recommendations and three people mentioned Hatchet Bay and the entrance to come in here was pretty crazy. It was like maybe 60 feet wide with like big rocks on either side. Very intimidating, but we made it in here unscathed, got the anchor set, we're all good to go. So now we are getting the dinghy down, we're gonna have some lunch and then we're gonna be off. Yeah. Let's get our cushions for our, our truck ride. Here we go, baby. Oh yeah, we're getting, oh no, it's okay. We're all gonna get in here. There we go, we got the cushions. Yeah. We're ready. Yeah. So we're living large. Okay, yeah, y'all let it put in. There you go. No, keep it, just keep it up. Yeah, okay, we'll leave it open. Yeah. I think my door stays open also. Looks like you don't lean back. <laughs> oh man. Here we go. <laughs> Gotta love who, the Bahamas. Who's driving this? Emmett. Yeah, Emmett, that's great. Yeah, just going a few miles down the road. And we're getting a nice ride and a very open air experience. Don't be back too far. And this is Stoke is High. Woo! We're having a cloud of dust. <laughs> Hatchet Bay is a cute, authentic Bahamian town full of brightly colored buildings, homes, and churches. We rode around town and Emmett pointed out spots along the way. We took a pit stop at Hatchet Bay Cave, which extends more than a thousand feet underground. If you go, definitely bring bright flashlights because without them, it's a whole lot of blackness, hence why we have no videos of them. Oh, and if you do go for a ride, just make sure to not lean against any of the doors. They are all susceptible to opening. It's not the safest way to get around, but definitely the most fun and is guaranteed to leave you with lots of laughs. The door has slammed shut. <laughs> now we're locked in. Now we're locked in. <laughs> Okay, this is what island life was all about right here. This is island travel. This is island life. This is Hatchet Bay. This is Hatchet Bay. This is seeing seeing it the right way. Wow. 
Wow. <laughs> Off-roading now. I can taste dirt in my mouth. Can you? How fun was that? That was amazing. Just got some live music, hung out with all the locals. Yeah, got some coconuts, fresh chopped. Fresh chopped off the tree coconuts. And of course, we forgot a light again, so we have to go home. I know, we keep forgetting to bring a light with us. We have to keep coming back to the boat early before it's it gets too dark. It's even lower tide. How? <laughs> Camel's like, how the heck am I gonna <laughs> get in fish. there? Okay, Camel, you need to go in there now. Yes. Okay, Cam. Do you mean hold the hand to you? No. Okay. You're not gonna push me in the water. I can get the string off there if you don't get the engine started. Okay. Camel, how is mommy gonna get in the boat? Luther Island is a beautiful island. Things people do will keep you smiling from here to air. You'll notice it when you get there, oh yeah. Cause no other island will keep you smiling like you struck. Whoa, 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 no other island will keep you smiling like you struck.